Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API Development using SILD Authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about Profile API. If I back to Editor, inside last videos, we had created and seen all about the concept of API Auth Filter. Back to slide. So from now onwards, whatever the APIs will work and call like Profile API, Logout API and all these will be protected. So while calling these API calls, we need to pass authorization token value means a valid token value inside header. Otherwise, invalid access denied page will be appear. So back to editor, app, controllers, API and auth controller. So in this video, we will work on our profile method. So the main purpose of a profile method or the profile API is to get all about the profile information of logged in user. So to get the profile information of logged in user inside auth controller class, here we have a method called profile. So inside this method, first we need to read all about the ID value, it means logged in ID value. After getting ID value, then we need to query our database to get all about the profile information. So here inside this method, let's say user ID equals to will use auth helper function and I will call id method. About this line of code already we have discussed inside our login API. If we go inside our login method, so inside login method the same concept we had used to get all about logged in user id and by the help of this id and profile information we have generated our access token value. So after login, this is the line of code which returns a user ID. So after getting user ID, let's create an object of user model object. So user object new user model and by the help of this user object, then we'll call a method called find by ID and inside we need to pass user ID. Now this time, this line will return all about user data. And finally, after getting this user data, then we need to go in, inside our response. Let's say status equals to true. And here, let's say profile information of logged in user. Go inside data, create another key called user. And inside we'll store all about the user data information. Remember, while calling this API, we need to pass our authenticated authorization token value inside header. Let, let's start testing all about this profile method. Go to postman. This is how we called inside last video all about our profile method. So I will use the same concept. So this is all about our application URL. Development server started. So after project URL API as a prefix, profile as the route name and here we have passed all about our token value. So let's say that I'm calling this API without any value because uncheck it means we are not sending this authorization token value inside this API call. Click on send button and as we can see that invalid access it means we are not allowed to access this URL. So what I will do? I will go and pass a valid token value. This is the token value we have generated using our login API, means authorization, bearer, space and the token value. So whenever I will click on send button, it will fetch the ID value. It means by using this line, it gets all about the ID value of logged in user and once we get the ID, then by using our user model object concept, then we can read all about our existing data. So here we can see all about the profile information of this logged in user. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we have created one more method and that is profile API. Uncheck all about authorization we are not sending, click on send button, invalid access, sending our authorization token value if we do any mistake here, click on send button invalid access so it means to work with all the protected routes we need to pass a authenticated or valid token value inside this authorization and here as we can see we are returning all about the user information inside this user key so in the next video we'll discuss all about our logout api and so on so finally what are the things we have completed so far so this is done this is done 
and here by the help of this video now this is also done so in the next video we'll work on all these api methods so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day